What's going on, wrestling fans? It is I, Steve Fall. Welcome to Ten Count, right here in Wrestling News Call. I'm here with Otis. Oh, I thought you kept the shades on. It's all good. I talked to uh, Chad about you know, the, the cat situation with Chad Gable's cat. Um, yeah. Is it still not like you? Well, it just gives me this weird look. But it doesn't like, sprint out of the way anymore. I think that's progress. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good Cats to hear. Cats don't love me, man. Why? I don't know. <laughs> they use my belly as a nap, and as soon as I want to move to go to the bathroom, they hiss at me. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not like dogs. Dogs are just beautiful creatures. Wow. Once we're wolves, now we're beautiful dogs. Anti-cat, folks. That's, the, that's what we just heard. Anti-cat. I mean, I mean, they're they're the anti. They're, <laughs> I wasn't anti anything. Uh, they that's true. They me with their claws. Man, now I have done some research, and is it true? A security guard, as I crack my voice and you know go to puberty, is it true that you were tackled by a security guard as a child trying to give Trish Stratus a high five? Yes. Um, at the time in the Deck Arena, they had the old school like entrance to the ring post, so they they, they, they you know, just regular black curtain. Um, it was uh, the only time. Raw was in town. It was we always mostly had SmackDown, and uh, yeah, I saw. You know, she's looking great. She, you know, everything's. She's a champion. She ready to rock and roll. She's doing the point, and I had to run down at an angle, and I was just saying, Trish, touch me. <laughs> and uh, next thing, because I was about a five uh, for fifth grade, I was about two hundred pounder, so I guess I look like, like, like a grown man. And the guy gave me a big old Roman Reigns spear. And then next thing I know, he found out I was a child, and I wasn't gonna jump the barricade. Then we got then we got first row the next after intermission so maybe it's worth the bump but man yeah Trish was great that night she's, she's always great she's always great you know big meaty men fighting big meaty men it's going down. big E said he wants a whole battle royal a whole match with big meaty men yes I think we should do all three I think we should do battle royals I think we should do a single tournament I think we should do a big old hell in the cell cage match with all these monsters in one one area baby instead of 205 live can I have 405 live probably, f four, probably 505 you got Omos in there you got Sprung Strowman in there, you got Avoir, Big Bronson Reed, you got me. I'm trying to think who else is big, thick, and media that I've well, across in my lifetime. Well, Sean Stasiak is known by Mr. Meat. You know, Meat. Could he be in there because his name or no? We'll, we'll put him in there for his name, but he was going down. <laughs> He's not going there for Meat, though. No, no, no. You know, Mixed Match Challenge. You know what? As we sit here for a second, let's just grab this for a minute. Oh, yeah. Because people, you know, there's so many things going on here. Here we go. Uh, mixed Match Challenge. Men yeah. teaming up with women, fighting each other. Maxine Dupree would be on your team, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, she's, she's my dove. She's a beautiful woman. And uh, she's growing as a performer and as an athlete. So, yeah, we're definitely always by her side. And now, Royal Rumble always has a secret entrance. Who do you want to be a secret entrant into the men's Rumble? Anybody? Anybody. Past, present, future? Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee! I, would, I, I think if that music hits, it would be like... Let's go! It would be like, uh, I don't know, I feel like it would be like a slow intro pop, and then McAfee just comes out and just destroys a few peeps. Wow. Yeah, I love that guy. What about the women's match? Who would be a secret entrant into that one? Hmm. Hmm. The ladies. The ladies. The ladies. You know, I, maybe we could bring her up. Mandy Rose, your old lover. Oh, baby. That would be interesting. I don't know. We're up there in the same ring at the same time. Those Maxine and Mandy. Oh, no. I love my blondes. <laughs> Oh no! So, is it Mandy Rose who you want to be the secret entrant, or is it somebody else? Uh, we'll go with Mandy. Yeah, go Mandy. Mandy. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Who's running the mind there? Yeah, is she a uh, great talent. Hopefully, one day. You know, it seems like everyone's coming back home into the WWE. Though, you know, you're gonna win the men's rumble, but who's gonna win the women's rumble? You know, it's gonna be very juicy because again, we have Nia Jax. She she is a monster in the ring. I told I told Max to keep watching watch out for those punches watch out for the elbows watch out for her strength so we're all, we're all pulling for our girl Maxine Dupree but there's a lot of girls like I said we have the best locker room women or men so um, I think it could be anybody I really can't pick up one lady because every year is somewhere it's like we, we thought it was gonna happen but somebody else is the last two babes in there oh yeah <laughs> I love it love his blondes I can't get it, that one sentence out of my brain that he said that you know Netflix and the WWE are now in a bed together and you have a nice thing going with Chad Gable where you talk about horror films and you yeah. go through movies what about a Netflix series
series where you talk about horror films. That'd be sick. Uh, I think. Uh, well, I don't think. It depends on what people want to listen. My, my my side of the move of the movie, but it's uh, definitely be awesome. I love Netflix. You know, I think the best true crime documentaries as well. Um, but now we get rusting in there, baby. So yeah, there's a lot of good. I mean, top top of my head, Dracula, that new Dracula show, three episodes, sick, bro. And Rock vs. Roman, who would win? <sighs> I think Roman. All right, folks. Thank you, Otis, for being here on 10 Count. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Johnson. Sorry, Mr. Johnson. He's actually board director of TKO now, so... Ee, that, that's, that's why you got to say it that way. Sorry, sorry, we, sorry, we sir. We can't say Rock yet. Well, he owns the name now, I guess, technically, so... The Rock. The Rock. Mr. Johnson. Well, thank you so much, Otis. Johnson. <laughs>